Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Keep It Dirty. My name is Leslie Dowling, and my guests share their life living sustainably and functionally and the why behind their experiences navigating through our ever-changing environment. I share and educate my years of eating clean, the environmental shifts affecting our health, and physical balance, providing tools and tips for rebooting and restoring your physical well-being. So thanks for joining me. I know where you're wrapping up with the end of summer. It is officially um, here uh, in Pennsylvania. My son went back to school, first day of school. And I want to speak into sleep, sleep disruptors, how we all have been maybe on a later schedule, getting up later, especially the kids, and rebooting and restoring their sleep patterns. Because when our sleep patterns are disrupted, we're not eating as healthy as possible. We kind of get that brain fog when uh, we get up in the morning, and it is so critical to mix the magical fiber, fat, and protein in our diet when we're eating meals. So in the morning, if your kids are running out the door, give them something that they can sustain, like maybe um, so they don't have those sugar disruptors of the highs and lows while they're in school. So maybe just take um, some almonds, uh, and get the um, a handful of almonds, uh, goji berries. Um, if they like some some fruit, maybe just slice up some fruit in the morning for them. Banana with their favorite, say almond butter, sunflower butter, and also dates is an awesome way of just getting the pitted dates and slathering on some really good uh, sunflower butter. Uh, just be careful if you're family has any peanut allergies, obviously you don't want to give them peanuts. Uh, but some of the other things that affect our sleep patterns, which maybe we don't even really think about, um, is when we are traveling, jet lag. Say if you're getting back into the swing of things and you have to travel for business. A lot of times when you're at the airport, they don't have the go-to healthier choices. Slowly, some of these airports are integrating healthier food choices instead of just getting um, a chocolate bar that's filled with a lot, filled with a lot of sugars. Um, look for coconut water. So you could have coconut water when you're on that flight, uh, taking some more, um, maybe a handful of organic fruits, dried fruits and nuts, putting it in a plastic bag, putting that into your travel bag. I know liquids you can't take uh, on board unless after you, you check in, you could go to the kiosks and look for uh, coconut water because it. when we're traveling, what happens? We start um, getting dehydrated on higher, higher elevations. You know, when you're running, you dehydrate when you're doing a lot of exercise, but the same thing happens when you're flying. So the coconut water replenishes our electrolytes. It's the most natural way and it uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, junk in it. and doesn't have a lot of sugars in it, like some of these uh, drinks that have a lot of electrolytes, but it's full of dyes and chemicals. Another thing is uh, in the airport when you're flying, bring some a small vial of some essential oils like lavender, something that you could breathe in just to calm you, uh, just if you're sometimes on long lines, waiting, uh, sometimes you're stressing out if you have kids with you and they're freaking out because they cannot just calm themselves. And even us, you know, if we don't have kids or my kids are 17, 22 and 24, but um, it's just very stressful when you have to travel, rush to the airport and find your Zen. And also try not to drink a lot of alcohol when flying because that further dehydrates your system. Um, when you do drink, uh, studies show that you don't have that REM sleep that you usually do when you are um, not drinking. So there are chemicals and in, 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 in with alcohol, uh, it is a sleep disruptor. So you don't get that full uh, REM and as I say, Zen sleep. Some of the other things that I like to also stress to people is 
Start doing your research, Bluetooth routers, unplug your phone and your routers. Take your phone and put it in another room, turn it off. A lot of the kids and, you know, a lot of us have maybe our computer set up in our bedrooms. Unplug because the electromagnetic fields, those uh, EMFs that are just radiating us on a level that we're not even aware of does have cellular disruptors. And some people are very affected by it, by getting headaches. They can't sleep at night. We're also bio-individuals, so we're very different. So just be mindful of that. Um, also, just trying to not watch TV at night before you fall asleep. I know I do that. I probably shouldn't have a TV in my room. Uh, that's the best way is just not even have it in your room and then go up to bed in a Zen space. But because I like to watch some late night movies, I'm a late night out. I do still get my seven hours sleep, but I always adjust and monitor. So for my son, I'm slowly, as he goes back to school, as he did today, I'm slowly trying to get back on an earlier mode because I do work from home and I have meetings with people virtually all over the world. So my schedule can be disrupted. Also, if you're a content creator like me and uh, share a lot about health and wellness, uh, make sure you unplug from social media. I know on a Sunday, I try not to start jumping into different rooms. Um, I was just very grateful for somebody to um, invite me beginning of July on Chatter Social Media, which is amazing. I'm connecting and collaborating with people all over the world that are podcasters um, that are in the health and wellness sector. Uh, but also I noticed, and I was at fault, I jumped right into it, but I didn't want to miss all these rooms because I didn't want to miss the opportunity to meet all these wonderful people. Uh, but sometimes you need to rein it in a little because I noticed it was affecting my sleep patterns. I was overthinking about, okay, what am I going to do on social media? How am I going to present my content differently coming going into fall? Uh, so it can convey into people really going full force back to work if they, like I said, if they have to travel, the dynamics at home changes, which could stress us out a little, which can affect our sleep too. So it's really multifactorial. So any fellow practitioners that are listening to me today, they know the multifactorial or different layers of triggers that affect our whole body, our emotional, our physical, our mental state, our spiritual state, state of mind. Also, bubble baths at night is a beautiful thing to do because you get to detox your body if you're using natural products. Don't put dyes and chemicals. Read the bottle and make sure the label when you read it, doesn't have all these chemicals that you're dumping into your bubble bath to relax at night. Because guess what happens? Our skin is our largest organ and we're ingesting all of this. And when we're ingesting chemicals, it creates a toxic overload in our gut. So we're also beautifully interconnected, the brain gut, and it's sending signals for that toxic overload, maybe just to really uh, create more uh, stress on our body, which we don't even realize is happening on a subconscious level, but it's happening in our gut, which is creating an overall play of, of health. The other, um, the other point I'd want to bring out is just be mindful also about what you're feeding your family. What are you eating before you go to bed at night? You don't want to be having something that's going to be that up boost of, of energy when you're trying to calm yourself in the evening. Uh, herbal teas are, are wonderful. Uh, I like um, chamomile, which is very calming. And maybe um, something for the kids that are more kid friendly. There are kids tea time, nighty night time, and you just put a little raw honey in it. And it doesn't have to be that hot, but just a couple of sit, sips to calm them and just uh, maybe for you to read with them at night or if they want to read, depending on their age, 
to decompress. So set the stage in the evening. You could use a diffuser. You could put essential oils in the diffuser that's calming to the system. You just have to be careful that you're getting the right essential oils because some of the oils have chemicals in it. And that's another thing. What will you be doing? So it's counterintuitive. You have a diffuser with all these chemicals being sprayed in the, in the aromas in your room, but it could be a lot of chemicals. So get essential oils that are all natural. Let's see, what else do I want to share with everybody? Uh, and just set protocols for yourself to slowly integrate um, just better habits at night. Uh, the other thing is the color of the room is really critical because different colors evoke different emotions. Like red is more like, wow, <laughs> you know, like wake up time. Um, I just know in my bedroom, I have more um, muted tones with creams, tans, and just muted, um, just very light sky blue. Uh, so set this stage, set the tone when you do go to sleep. And other than that, also just make sure some people are going through hormonal shifts, depending on what age group you're in. So um, if you're going through perimenopause, menopause, that can affect also our sleeping patterns, but it also is affected by what we're eating. So I'm not going to go too much into this, but make sure that you are not eating the ultra processed and processed foods because that creates our body going to overdrive to digest all of this. And it also affects us by depleting our, us of all our minerals. That's another thing we are lacking in many minerals and nutrients like magnesium. And magnesium, magnesium is a calming agent. So if you use Epsom salt at night in your warm bath, that will absorb into your body. It will also help you with be feeling achy and tired. Uh, and unfortunately, magnesium and a lot of minerals are deplete in our soil because our soil have, has been radiated over the years with chemicals. So if it's not an organic regenerative crop that you're buying from, the soil is not rich in nutrients and therefore has a domino effect the way that everything is growing. Um, the nutrients are not in the fruits and vegetables that you're eating. And if anybody is old enough, they can remember years ago when you go to a farm stand and the strawberry just has that beautiful, sweet taste, you could really taste it. And now the way that they mass produce a lot of the uh, fruits and vegetables, it just doesn't have that taste anymore. So just be mindful of that, because when we ingest that, we're not getting all the nutrients we need. And then we further deplete our, ourselves from nutrients from all of the ultra processed and processed foods that we're eating that is just creating hot wreaking havoc and it puts our body into overdrive. That is why also a domino effect. You see a lot of people with inflammation. Inflammation also can trigger autoimmune illness and a lot of disease that is laying dormant in our body. And when we're having the refined sugars, even at night, and uh, it can offset our microbiome and it offsets the way that we feel emotionally. So it's that brain gut health that I speak into about our neurotransmitters being the highway to direct correlation to our brain and gut. I always go back to it, but we are all connected, right? It's just um, a beautiful symphony. So when the uh, string uh, section is taken out, we're going to start going off balance. So we want to have that symphony working. So with that, I hope that you have um, had an opportunity to write down some of the tips and tools going into fall, uh, kids going back to school. I'm going back on um, just putting the pedal to the metal, but trying to create balance, uh, booking guests on my show and me being a guest because I'm so well versed and I'm passionate about the years of practicing functional health and all the schooling I have, because why not share it with everybody? Because if you've got one tip today, that, that 
to me is worth a million dollars and even more. Because if I could just change one person's habit or your mental mindset shift of long-term health, when you're slowly integrating good ways and habits for you and your family, good sleep patterns, that's really critical. So with that, I just wanted to share with you on Chatter, uh, like I said, it's a new social media app. I'm connecting and collaborating with people in my um, functional health realm, also avid equestrians, because I'm also an avid equestrian with my horse still riding. Um, I just kind of um, had some downtime, but now I'm going to get back into it, being home uh, back in Pennsylvania with my horse. I'm also going to do a segment on Reiki energy with my horse. I'm going to hopefully be able to do that live on um, on my Riverside to share with you on my Instagram. So um, Steve has, uh, Steve is a friend who I met on chatter and he has um, a company where they make these wonderful zero added sugars and they're all natural and it's through java twist that's the name of his company and this one is coffee and lemonade brew it is so refreshing and um, sometimes i just have it cold or i just open a bottle like this and i just drink it it has a subtle taste of kind of an underlying coffee I love organic coffee. I love lemon. And um, it's just a really nice, even taste in your mouth. I also, and he's so sweet. He actually sent me some free samples. And when I saw natural, I'm, I'm all about that. So I'm always promoting and walking the walk when it comes to actually integrating this into practice with my home, with my kids uh, also drinking this. I love it. This one is cranberry brew. It's also coffee and cranberry. Uh, and if you look at their labels, they have everything in here is just made from uh, natural flavors and uh, natural sugars from the juices. Another one is blueberry lemonade. So when you have an opportunity, Google Java Twist. They have some great flavors. Also, my dear um, friends that I met actually, uh, through going to a trade shows, I bumped into this stand that just had this beautiful packaging. And when I spoke to them, their company, uh, their business is free yourself. They have perfumes, they have candles, they make everything in Vermont. Um, the candles are made in Vermont. The perfumes is from Grasse, if I'm saying it right, G R A S S E, France, where all of the um, the perfumes, the the actual scents are are from and originates from France. So what I love about this um, business and this company is they use um, soy based inks, okay, for the packaging, and also they're helping to protect forests and promote sustainable practices in their packaging industry. Oh, this one is called O or E A U. It has a beautiful scent, and it's actually um, like you could smell grapefruit, lemon, pink pepper, bergamot, uh, bergamot, uh, and also it has like this base, really hearty smell, but in a really beautiful way, musk, amber, white woods, and it's also as a perfume. So I bring this when I go traveling. It packs really well in my suitcase, or if I'm traveling for two nights somewhere, I just throw it in my travel bag. And with that, I hope that you're enjoying my podcast. I'm 78 episodes into it. I am in the top 10% globally, according to Listen Score in Health Fitness. And finally, my passion, the perseverance, and the why behind why I started this podcast, Keep It Dirty, is conveying to you. And if you have any questions, you could DM me on Keep It Dirty Podcast. That's my Instagram. And I upload to eight different platforms. And I just want to spread the word for health and wellness and really be an ambassador for people um, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 20s, 30s to thrive and always be in optimal health 
mental health, and body, mind, spirit. So I'm sending love. And also, um, if you have an opportunity, please rate, review my podcast. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I have a very small community, and I believe quality versus quantity when it comes to my tribe and the people that uh, have embraced my love for eating and living optimally. So with that, go out there, ground with Mother Earth, be with Mother Nature, and remember always to try to keep it dirty. Take care. Bye.